So when I started, Digital Twin was in its infancy in NIAR, and amazing in the last year and a half how much that has expanded to not only where we're at today, but where we're going to be in the next three to five years. A Digital Twin is a virtual model that represents a real airframe. Using, a, using some of these legacy drawings, they're incomplete, inaccurate, entirely missing. So right now, in order to do a repair, an engineer or a technician would have to go dig up all the drawings for all the parts that connect to the piece that's being repaired. This can be a days to weeks long process. With the digital engineering process, this becomes a three to five minute process. Also, you have high confidence that the geometry is correct in your 3D model. Uh, the biggest value we get from using Digital Twin is taking a two-dimensional drawing and be able to make that into a 3D experience. I think it'll be really beneficial because when they need to do repairs, they will be able to just, you know, put on some VR goggles and kind of just see what they can take off to have the easiest access. And any changes that need to be made can be made on the computer without consulting drawings. It's also going to allow them to know where they have stuff on the aircraft. Right now, these older aircraft, they don't know where everything's at on it. This will allow them to see, you know, what they have, what space is allowable, and so for future mods they can better plan. On the F-16 Falcon program, we are digitizing two Block 40 airframes and a Block 50 airframe. That process involved going and taking two Block 40 airframes and transporting them from AMARG in Tucson, Arizona to Wichita, Kansas to our facility. We'll be taking these airframes apart piece by piece, uh, cleaning the detailed parts up, scanning them and reverse engineering them, and creating 3D models from the engineering drawings on the structure side. So the end goal is to understand how the systems affect one another in the airframe. I'm excited about the F-16 program because it's completely different than any program we've ever done before. Uh, the previous programs that we've done have been mainly structural modeling. This one will integrate systems into it, which will open up a lot more doors for NIAR in the future. engineering at NIAR is about 450 heads strong, so we're not a small digital engineering organization by any means. The biggest help at Wichita State is that they're able to combine the two. They're able to combine the applied learning that they're getting at NIAR and the book learning that they're getting in the university. Amazing the diverse workforce that we have. Uh, and you look at their educational experience backgrounds, it's great to uh, look at that strategically and figure out how do we get our young workforce and, and get them ready for the future, but then also continue to uh, promote NIAR and move them in a forward direction. I love working at NIAR, specifically the Digital Twin programs, because it gives me opportunities I would not have access to without these types of programs. Uh, I'm very excited to work on a new airframe. Um, it's, you know, who doesn't want to work on an F-16? I think working on the F-16 will be better and more challenging for me because right now I'm working on simpler parts and working on the F-16 I'll be able to work on more complicated parts. Working at NIAR has shown me a lot about how interconnected the military is to the private industry and how those connections are made, how they are developed, and how they progress through certain projects that uh, the military works on in the private sector. The digital twin program allows me to use what I'm learning right now at uh, WSU, uh, in particular my uh, flight structures class. Um, I get to see a firsthand experience as to what they're discussing in that class. And I get to see that in person and relate that to uh, my field in the future. I love what we're doing. I love how we're making the service member better, faster, stronger, smarter. I like that I'm able to mold young college students and prepare them for a future workforce. It's helping me learn the life experiences I'm going to need to be able to work in a professional area for whatever job I get in the future. Because in Digital Twin we work on older airframes, the fact that I know these types of standards then means that I can become a better engineer for tomorrow.